Well, you know, when the decals were going on, it's getting pretty close. Uh, well, not really. I've still got a fair bit of work to do. I've got to put the radio, install the radiator. Um, I've got to cycle the gear, clean up the prop. But as far as the engine's concerned, that's done. And all the liquid cooling on the top end is done. So the heads are on, all the manifolds were modified. Uh, put, I've reconditioned this uh, cooling scoop, which looks a hell of a lot better than it did. Polished all the aluminium pieces up, replaced the heat shielding um, uh, deflectors. And it's looking good. Um, so it looks like there. I've got the header tank in now and plumbed up the line coming from this side. So I've got a nice little protector around the sharp edge of the fiberglass. And I'll tidy up, the wiring's still got to be tied back. It's still loose, but uh, that'll be done soon. Uh, what else? Yeah, I've got a new hose for the um, breather here. So a brand new hose there. Uh, what else? Yeah, the header tank, of course, there's a lot of working going into making that. It was a custom header tank, really. Uh, it's got a bigger port on it to accommodate the twin pump system. So I've got two common rails under the engine here, one there. And that's feeding its water pipes all the way up to the heads on four on this side. There's the fourth one, and then four on the other side. And now I've got a cross link here. And so you've got a three-quarter inch fitting there and a three quarter inch fitting right through that gap there. And there's gonna be two pumps feeding those and the pump's gonna be uh, bridged in parallel as to the other uh, common rails. You can see I've also got them bridged at the front as well and the rear. So, so that's basically just one parallel or well, one, one circuit all in parallel. Yeah, so it's looking good. Got the exhaust on, that was a big job. Um, all the fittings back on, riveted them back on. So it's looking good. Uh, right, so the next tasks for this one is um, do a little bit more wiring. I've got to put a, a temperature gauge in the panel for the coolant temp. And then, um, yeah, as I said, the radiator on the chin of the, um, on the belly scoot, on the belly, on the belly cow. It's where the, there's plenty of room in there for a nice big radiator, which I said I've got here. Where is it going there? Down there. So I see I've got the cardboard on it to protect the fins so it doesn't get all damaged while I'm handling it. Yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, I've got all my, my plumbing done in here. You can't see it, but um, all the fittings are done. I saw all of these uh, daisy-chained LCH fittings and coming out here over to the header tank. And then on the other side, again, all the hot water coming out behind this shroud coming out this pipe and then on an oblique angle going into the header tank to give it plenty of clearance between the exhaust. And as I said, a bigger fitting here, bigger a, a, a 32 mil radiator hose um, to accommodate the increased water flow for two pumps. Anyway, she's looking great. Oh, geez, it's a hot day today. It's about 40 degrees, about 100 in, in Fahrenheit, I guess, somewhere around there. Gee, you can see there, it's looking good, isn't it? This has come up great. All right, let's push on.